Okay, my name is Maria Gladyshevsky, G-L-A-D-Z-I-S-Z-E-W-S-K-I. I am a city and borough of Juneau Assembly member. First question. This is the one about, we serve as Deputy Director, Division of Wildlife Conservation, Alaska Department of Fish and Game. What expertise do you bring to the city on municipal level regarding your assembly role and professional occupation? The expertise I bring to the city is um, largely as a citizen who has been involved uh, for years in uh, our community. I actually served for almost 12 years on our city and borough planning commission, which is the body that uh, plans for development and also issues permits. Um, so, and I've served as chair of that com commission for several years. So um, I brought a bunch of expertise regarding land use issues. So. And just uh, every assembly member brings a perspective depending on where they live, what uh, activities they've been involved in, and um, so that's been mine. Okay, awesome. Just lower the microphone a little bit. Okay. Okay. During the last assembly member, 250000 to the blah, 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 to the cruise ship, uh, can you touch, concerning litigation, can you explain that? Sure, the, the, uh, the cruise industry sued the city and borough of Juneau regarding uh, implementation of its passenger fees and port fees, and we're in a dispute with the industry, um, and we basically are defending our ability and our uh, capacity to collect fees from passengers to serve the passengers. We are a small town, uh, 30, roughly 30,000 people, about a million people get off the ships, and so we have provided services to those people, and th that is the dispute, whether th those fees, what those fees can be used for. And we believe that we have used them properly and, and will continue to use them properly, so that's basically the dispute. What do you we use the fees for uh, services to the vessel and also for, for services to the passenger. For example, um, crossing guards. People need to cross the street, we pay for those. Uh, we've done upgrades to the dock, uh, millions of, multi-millions of dollars of dock upgrades. Uh, various uh, services to the vessel, bathrooms, cleaning of the bathrooms, additional bathrooms downtown. So those are the kinds of things we've used them for. Uh, the cruise industry, my understanding, uh, believes they can only be used for things that touch the vessel. And that is the basic dispute, whether it, it's only things that touch the vessel or things that serve the passengers. Um, any more details on that, you'd have to talk to the lawyers. That's the, basic, that's the basic dispute that we are, and we're defending our, our right to collect those fees and use them in that manner. Awesome. Good answer there. So, uh, what sectors of Juneau are being hit the hardest on your local area because of the multi-billion dollar debts of the state? Yeah, as a local municipality, as they say, consequences roll downhill. And if, if the state's budget is uncertain and they cut things, uh, we can't, we don't have capacity. We have to pay for what we use. So, for example, when uh, a few years ago the, the state decided not to do school debt reimbursement, that was a $3 million hit to our budget. And we had to, we had to pay that debt. Uh, the, the state had said they would pay that debt. They decided not to. And we had to pick up that slack. So that was $3 million that we had to uh, use out of our rainy day fund, out of past assemblies and the citizens who have squirreled that away for rainy days, so we used part of it, uh, but that's a one-time thing. And so those monies had to come from somewhere, and they had to come from there, and we had to cut uh, services. Um, certainly, so anything the state can do to uh, stabilize that. In addition, of course, we're the capital city, and we have a lot of employees that work for the state, so not only do we get a, a hit when the state doesn't fund something, um, we actually have lost employees, state employees, that have uh, lost their jobs. And so it hits Juno a lot. And you know, we would encourage the legislature to come together, just like municipalities do. Uh, our seats are nonpartisan. Um, we try to do the best for the community and the entire community. And I don't always agree with my colleagues, but we, we have to get the job done because we're at a local level. We can't put it off. There's no, nothing else we can do. So, you know, I would encourage the legislature to come together and, and figure it out. It's impacting the whole state and certainly Juneau. Um, 
Someone mentioned, you know, the ferries system is another thing. We don't have as reliable ferries. You go to the grocery store and there's not milk, and it's because the ferry hasn't, the ferry system is, uh, some of that stuff, stuff comes on the ferry. Um, so it, it impacts Juno a lot, and, and we are really watching that um, the state has the ability to shift costs to us and simply decide not to pay something, but we do have to pay the bill in the end. <coughs> Does that, are those answering your questions? Oh, yeah, you're doing perfect. Okay. What inspired me to run for the assembly is I simply wanted to help the community that has given so much to me. I moved here uh, about 30 years ago. It was an open, welcoming community. It, it's in a small enough town that you can do anything you want here. If you want to run a radio station, if you want to have a, a program on the radio, if you want to be an actor, if you want to, uh, whatever you want to do that this community says, that's a good thing and you can do that. And so I decided it was time for me to uh, step up and take my turn at this. It's not something I'm going to do forever. I would encourage anybody who's thinking about it to please uh, contact anybody who's done it. And, and you can do it too. Um, when I first got on the Planning Commission, I was approached by someone to say, you should apply for the Planning Commission. And I thought, I don't even know that. Why would I do that? And it was, it was somebody actually asking me that made me realize I could do it too. And so I'm saying that to everybody who's listening, anybody in Juneau, you could do it too if you want to know about it. Call me. <laughs> awesome. Ron, you can move a little over. I can't see my hand. No, the other way. Towards her. Okay. Yeah, because the closer you get, like right there, the better she looks. The better I look. <laughs> <laughs> that light is a miracle working thing. Thank you. Put it on me, Ron. <laughs> Walk around with it under my face, please. Um, what local ordinances are you currently working on, and which ones are vital or of vital importance to Juno? Well, issues that we're currently working on is, is one, one of the most vital is, is housing. Um, we have had a long time in Juneau, uh, housing issues. Uh, when I first came to Juneau over 30 years ago, it was really hard to find an apartment. It's still really hard to find an apartment or a house. So we're continuing to work on that issue. Um, we've had increasing issues of homelessness. We're working on that issue. They opened up a new home, um, a place for people to move off the street. Um, those are the, the big things. I mean, housing affects our entire economy. I know personally people that would like to move here, and they come to Juneau, and they look at the housing stock and how much it costs, and they say, you know, I like that town, but that's pretty, um, pretty steep. So we're always looking for ways to improve those, those things, and, and uh, it, it affects, I think it is a drain or a, let's see, how do I say that? Not drain, a... Uh, you're going to have to cut this. What's sure. a, a, well, so the, I think the housing issue is a drag on our economic growth because because we don't have adequate housing for people that want to, to live here. Awesome. Is there anything in addition you would like to add? Um, I would like to add that... Um, People have been increasingly involved since in the last couple of years. Uh, since I got on, we're getting more involvement, and it's really great. So if, if you live in Juneau and you have an opinion on something, please contact your assembly member. It makes a difference. Come down to the assembly chambers, uh, testify, and say what you will. Um, it really does matter. We are a small body. We are not very partisan. We, we are not hard over on one side or the other, generally. Um, and we can be influenced by your opinion. So please, please do it. Uh, if you can't come down because you don't have time, send us an email, give us a call, uh, get involved. Uh, we have lots of boards and commissions to be on, uh, always looking for good folks, looking for people to be on the hospital board and the planning commission, and, and you can do it. You can run those organizations. Uh, you just a citizen step up, take your turn, till it's someone else's turn. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.